Hi everybody, Martin the Flickin' Feathers again today, and I'm tying this wee Budworm Red Midge pattern, it's like a sort of holographic Budworm. It's a very effective fly, um, catches fish all year, but it's very, very effective in the winter when still was. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who'd like to support the channel and get access to the members only content as well as being entered into the giveaways. Or you can also remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the videos, hit the notification button, that all helps as well. So I've got my hook in my vise and it's a size 10 uh, Kamazam B420, the Otzer Sedge. Um, and I've started some glow bright number 3 floss from a thread, right? So the glow bright 3, although it's it's a kind of deep blood red, it is also fluorescent, um, which makes it more visible at depth and it lets it keep keep its redness. Just catching in some small silver tinsel, uh, silver wire, sorry, and then I'm going to take some red, small red holographic. Sticks to my finger there. Just tie this, these both in on the way down. Keep nice, smooth, touch and turns. And I'm going to come all the way around the bend. Right there. And then back up. Again, I'm keeping these thread wraps touching. I'm going to come all the way to the front, just catching in all those tag ends. And then back to the end of the body. If you want to, you can add a bit of taper, make it a bit thicker, but you really don't have to. So I'm going to take this rib up, the tinsel first, although it doesn't really matter. One, two, three. I reckon about seven is quite nice. I'll we'll catch that on the eighth turn. Take it back. Trim away my waist. I can go for the next fly. And then I'll just bring this silver wire up between the holographic. Just adding a wee bit more sort of definition to the segmentation. You can use red wire as well, that looks really good, works well. And same again, when you get to the front, tie it off. We'll just take that back a wee bit. Then just bend and break the wire. And you can make a wee head. Whip finish. Trim away the waist. That's it, the tying's done, dead simple. All that remains is, we've got a couple of coats of varnish on it, put a nice thin coat, and then when that's dry, you can give it another one or two coats, make it really tough and shiny. And a bit faster sinking as well. So there you go, that's the holographic blood one. Very simple, but absolutely deadly. Well worth tying up. So, hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.